I think China is recovering uh, from the property side. And I do think that um, we're seeing that, especially in the first tier cities, the Greater Bay um, area, um, the China property markets still have a lot of hard demand. Uh, I think there will be less speculations, and if there's any relaxation in the policies for real estate, there will be a very strong uh, surge in the price uh, and also demand for the properties. And in, I think in the next you know, three or four months. And what we need to do now as corporate is to really adopt um, this change. And we need, go, we, we need to adopt it very fast. It's like you know, when we're badly hit during the past two or three months, um, during challenging times, uh, we have to make all our retail sales online. And then our, our, our sales channel ha has to convert into live streaming. We have to use our digital app, we have to, our digital uh, uh, WeChat public account in order to sell our e-commerce. We, we have to create our new home delivery services. So for corporates, we need to adopt that very quickly. But China properties, I do think that it will recover uh, sooner. And Hong Kong, I think that Hong Kong property uh, sales, there's still a lot of hard demand for uh, mass residential properties. I think uh, the only product that will be badly hit will be offices. I think first grade offices in Hong Kong will be very badly hit, in it, it, even in the next one or two years. Not just rental relief, but I think when they renew rent, um, they have to readjust the entire rent down 10 to 20%. Uh, but I think from retail point of view, I think there'll be a lot of consolidation. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, market share grab, and I think if, you, if your customers are more local VIPs, which like K11 Museum is, 90% of our VIPs are local, uh, we're able to be more weathering this storm and also be more resilient.